Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Certainly. In Python, NumberPy is a powerful library for numerical computations, and it provides support for multidimensional arrays and matrices. One common operation is converting NumberPy arrays to bytes, which can be useful for saving data, sending it over a network, or for input into other libraries. Hashtag 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 tutorial, converting NumberPy arrays to bytes. Hashtag 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 one. Installing NumberPy. If you haven't installed NumberPy yet, you can do so using pip. Hashtag 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 two. Creating a NumberPy array. First, let's create a simple NumberPy array to work with. Hashtag 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 three. Converting a NumberPy array to bytes. NumberPy provides a method called to bytes that allows you to convert an array into a bytes object. This method flattens the array and returns the data in a contiguous block of memory. Hashtag 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 example code. Hashtag 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 four. Converting bytes back to NumberPy array. To convert the bytes back to a NumberPy array, you can use np.from buffer, specifying the data type and the shape of the original array. Hashtag 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 5. Complete example code. Here's the complete example code. Hashtag 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 6. Output explanation. When you run the complete example code, you will see the original array printed in its 2D form. The byte representation of the array, which will look like a sequence of bytes. The reconstructed array which should match the original array. Hashtag 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 conclusion. Converting number pi arrays to bytes and back is straightforward using the to bytes and from buffer methods. This can be particularly useful when you need to serialize data for storage or transmission. Always remember to specify the correct data type and shape when reconstructing the array from bytes to ensure it matches the original structure.